Howdy folks, welcome back. Let's do our fair use disclaimer. In good faith, this work contains the fair use of copyrighted and non-copyrighted images from the public domain and the web for non-commercial, non-profit, educational purposes. This work is distributed free of charge and is not monetized. So let's get into it. So I got you over here at the seed site. This is July 12th of 2019, and we have what appears to be another CME coming off the sun, except I see something else in here. This little round object right here has a bow shock coming off of it as well. So I believe that this object, stellar core, for lack of a better term, is causing this CME and has a bow shock, which is moving faster than the... It's the bow shock is moving faster than the object itself. It's actually enveloping it and going past it. Here I've zoomed in on a little better for those of you with smaller screens. Now this round object has a bow shock that is wrapping around it and going past it faster than it's moving out. So let you watch that for a second. Okay, now these objects are not only interacting with the sun, but now they're interacting with the earth and its atmosphere. So now I got you over here at Mr. MBB and some of the photos that his viewers send into him. And I want you to watch this little object right down here as he zooms in on it and does some filter tra uh, transfers with it. Note this cloud that it's enveloped in. And if you look closely, you can actually see a dimple or a uh, crater on the surface of this object. And he's going to run it through some different filters here so you can get a better view of what he's talking about. Now, doesn't this look familiar? Doesn't this look similar to that object we saw coming off the sun? Enveloped in a cloud. Here's a different filter of it. Okay, then here's another image that another viewer of his has sent in. Note this dark patch up in the sky up here, enveloped in cloud, just like the other image. And as he zooms in on this, I want you guys to take a peek at what's in our skies. And you guys can look up and capture this stuff yourself. He's going to start seeing round, dark objects enveloped in clouds in the sky. And this is in our atmosphere, interacting with our atmosphere. Now here's another image of one of these stellar cores interacting in our atmosphere. And this is a still from a video I did the other day. So you can go back to my channel and watch this. As this object enters the atmosphere, it's creating matter in front of it. As it's also enveloped in a cloud around it. Now these objects are either orbiting the sun or our sun and solar system are orbiting a region of space that contains all these objects. There's one. If you look over here, you can see a small one right here, too. Right there. So we either orbit this region of space that contains a bunch of these, or there's a patch of these that orbit us. So if you go over to my channel, click on the videos tab here, right here at the top, so all the videos will drop down. Here's the video of the core interacting with our atmosphere. And then scroll down. As you can see, I have mountains of evidence here. Scroll down, way down to this one, Nibiru's Procession. Now, in this video, Nibiru's Procession, I've gone back into the archives and documented these passes of, of this object right here, either going around the sun or our sun going into this region of space where this thing starts to interact with the sun. So as I went back into the archives, I made a list of dates as I found this object coming into view and starting to wrap around the sun. And I went back to 2010, and it showed up in November 23rd of 2010. Then November 13th of 2011, or 
11, then November 1st of 12. And as you can see, this list has a little rhythm to it. As the years increase, the months decrease. This thing is coming sooner and sooner and sooner. At the bottom of this list, you can see I found the object past the sun again at uh, August 25th of 2018, and I have forecasted this year, 2019, for it to arrive in early to mid-August of 2019. And we're at July 12th, so we have about a month or maybe two weeks or somewhere in that vicinity. And I predict that we're going to see this object return, and we're going to see the return of more of these objects coming off the sun, creating more CMEs, interacting with our atmosphere more, causing more earthquakes, volcanoes, and crazy weather. Now as I back out of this and go back to the menu here, another important video to watch is Wake Up Call. And in this video I show you these cores interacting with our sun. And just real quick here to Wake Up Call, this event happened in September 10th of 2017. That's 13 days before the Revelation 12 star alignment. We had a solar flare come off the sun reacting to this object, which turns out to be a black stellar core with what appear to be wings or what are actually debris tails pointing back to something else. And they're actually pointing back to this much bigger core back here. And you can see Nibiru, this core sticking out in front here with this much bigger one in the background. Now, this white circle represents the size of the sun. Look how much bigger this object is compared to the size of the sun. Also, you can see a conduit of material or plasma being sucked off of the sun into this object. You can even make out a damage ring or an impact zone from this material going into this object and hitting the surface, creating an impact zone on this one. So go watch Wake Up Call if you want to know more about that one. And then we'll finish off here at the Schumann Resonance. Here we are at July 12th of 2019, and you can see we've had some more spikes, a smaller disturbance, either from that object coming off the sun or, you know, something interacting with our atmosphere. So I just wanted to bring that last little image to you here. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something. And uh, if you want to know more, I have mountains of evidence on my channel. So I love you all. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next video.